Guys, here we are. Here's an A300 FedEx. There's a 75 over there. I guess I'm the commissioner of tours here. I didn't know we were opening up both airplanes. Well, I figured we had this one here. Yeah, I thought... All right, 9G net. These are all in for cargo for safety. If the freight ever shifted, yeah. came forward, this is the barrier that's gonna stop you. Okay. So they, some airplanes, like the one next door has a wall. I'll show you the wall. But yeah. This one has a, what they call a 9G net. That's cool. Quick and easy and ugly. All the seats, everything, the ceiling is half removed. And uh, doors electric on this one, not a big deal. But containers, two stories, is a wide body airplane, so that's where you get your size. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this whole block. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Not right there. Right in there. Alright, four board off those. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. Alright, so tell me everything you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, used to, I'm used to like 7.37 stuff, so... Okay, well, I'm, I worked at 7.37. Oh, so that's 737 cool. had an autopilot right here. This has an autopilot right yeah. here. Not a whole lot. Two autopilot systems. Yeah. Um, what, what's up with that two autopilot system? The more, like the one next door has three autopilots. You can defer an autopilot and still have the luxury of having an autopilot. You don't need an autopilot to fly. Yeah. But you have two because um, you can still have it for flying for convenience and uh, saving you a fortune with gas yeah. and everything else. The autopilot's working for you. This is what they call building box. You put your flight plan in here. Um, I don't know other airplanes so different than this. It tells you about the airplane, but you can put all your information in here, airports you're going to, all the stuff is preloaded. Every month or two, you load software into this, into the FMC, the flight management computer, and that gives these guys anything new with any airport that we fly to or in the country. Um, radio, just to give a little bit different stuff on the bus. The bus is a little bit different. This has got an ACARS, MCDU. These are, these are different things. All these selections here just change the screens, hydraulics, the engines, oil up on the top, there's your electrics, any bleed issues you've had or anything going on, your APU. The engines start on air, the engines gonna start on uh, electric. Big friend, this is an older, older airplane. Yeah. I mean, this is not as high tech. The one next door is a little bit more high tech. Circuit breakers, circuit breakers, maintenance panel. Any yeah. um, it's helpful, it's very helpful. Jump seater if we had one, but light controls, light controls, throttle, thrust reverser. 737 has these wheels, these are the stabilizer. The tail actually moves right along. Hi there. Hey, hey there, how you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Very well. Welcome. I remember back in the day when we used to jump seat and it used to be kind of cool. The only one today, but yeah, uh, yeah. the kids can sit up, the grandkids can sit up there. I was just, we were just looking around and showing stuff. What do you think? Yeah. yeah these are throttles. They never got my good picture, okay? Just here, we'll turn. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Right, good. 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 Get in there. Get 
All right, guys, there goes the A300. A long time since I've been in a 7.5 cockpit before. Oh yeah, these are, this is way better airplane. Yeah. This airplane, different animal. You only really got a couple selections right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Hydraulic pressures, those kind of indications. Everything they, they get is up here. The crew is watching. Engines, you also get the engine data. For the digital readout, you don't want to read it off of here or read it off of here. So depending on what kind of person you are. They, uh, same thing, autopilot, not a big deal. FMCs, flight management computers, flaps, speed brakes. Thrust reversers, throttles, fuel, fire. It's almost the same, except just a little bit different than the other airplane. Park and brake, same same idea. They've also went to the computers, window, just just uh, oxygen mask. Yeah. But um, this bird, I like a lot better. It's big engines, narrow body, a lot faster. They're also flying. I don't want to hit you in the head. Yeah. Smack. Is that the HUD? Yeah, that'll be the hunt. Oh, You're that's what gonna... it looks like. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, you shouldn't see it, but normally it's a green thing and it intensifies the, the view for the crew. They can adjust the brightness, but it's not on now because you'd have to align the airplane. Yeah, that's cool. I did not know it, like, it goes along with your vision as you move. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. No, no, that's uh, that allows you to fly in uh, worse conditions and yeah. closer together. Fuel economy gives you a lot of things as an airline that, that you're looking for. That's cool. And you just... Hydraulic system, this is like connection to the satellite. So everything you do, you would know where to go. If you said, oh, I gotta go to the satellite, you know you'd be going here. So little by little, you start getting used to going, knowing where you're going. I know the radios are here. I can do it in the dark. I know the throttles are up here. Have you ever flown? Flaps. You no, your... just a simulator oh, now. Okay. I landed though, we lived, even though those guys <laughs> tried to get me. everything was automatic. Yeah. You know, 185 people, when they put people in it, that's roughly the ballpark number, 185. Yeah. Good airplane, great airplane, narrow body, big engines, get you up and off. Rolls Royce motors. This yeah. has got fire protection, just in case, but uh, it's a good airplane. I've worked these for years. You may have that's cool. See, you even got your seatbelt sign on the cargo plane. No. Got your here. pilot call over here. <laughs> this is like a fun house window. Look at that. It's like a fisheye window. Got another oxygen. Oxy, I can't even talk. Oxygen mask right here. These are a lot bigger than I thought they would be. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You don't realize how big it is until you come up right next to it. Yeah. Like, they actually look a lot smaller plane spotting too. Okay, so if you want to put your video off. Yeah. Uh, 
if it has one light on, yeah. if you're using power. If it had two lights on, it means the power is not actually being used upstairs. Oh, okay. That's cool. The engines are big. Yeah. Man, tell us the Rolls Royce. FedEx, there's generally two types. Either Rolls Royce or G. The Rolls Royce blades are really wide. Yeah. The G ones are skinnier when you look at them. All right. Usually, it's all difference. You don't want to be standing. Well, you don't want to stand. You decide anyone's running because that side will suck you and chop you up. The side will burn you for a first French fry. Yeah. But that's the actual turbine engine. You see, that's, that's the last power stage of the turbine right there. Yeah. All that's what spins the stuff up front. When that pin is flush with it, that means the brake's worn out and you have to change it. Oh, okay. See, like that brake, the pin sticks out a lot further. Yeah. This is a newer brake than that one there. Oh, that's true. Cool. It different times. Yeah. And if we drop the gear doors, there's a thousand times even more lines up in there. <laughs> a lot of stuff hidden up in the belly of the plane, you don't really see it. Yeah. So this used to be a passenger plane. Yeah. Those doors used to open, they would seal off the cargo. Do you know what airline this used to be? Uh, if you look it up, most of them came from United. All right. Say, not all of them, but a lot of them came from United. That's cool. November 9 or 5 1, Fox Truck Delta. Oh, that's cool. Here's the EPUs, the rear of the airplane, and your slats are all on the leading edge. These planes all have slats and slats. Now, yeah. well, the Airbus actually has Kruger flaps, which is a little bit different. Huh. Uh, you don't see that in most airplanes. But... So you continue your walk around, check the engine on this side, make sure you don't have any damage to any of the blades. Yeah. In case you get a rock or something like that, which does happen sometimes. Yeah. It sucks up a piece of fog from the ground. Or bird. I could see each one is numbered. Yeah, that's how they can, so you can track them. That's the, they're so there's 22 also, blades. Yeah, they're, they're also stamped with serial numbers, too. Oh, uh, that's so cool. They're very, they're, they're, each one of those is time controlled and tracked. Yeah. Only good for so long. Some of the cycles can have to be removed. Yeah. Alright, guys, back to the A300. That's the aircraft that we went on the first time. That was our first plane. You can actually see I touched an Airbus A300. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Oh. So when you put the flaps down on this airplane, yeah. from the slats, because <clears throat> what it does is that piece in the wing right there, yeah. that's part of it, that comes out, and that piece comes out with it, and it meets together to form like a, a wing, like the shape of a wing, uh, that's when cool. they come together. Because otherwise, it'd be a gap because the shape of the fuselage. Yeah. So it's called a Kruger flap. Huh. The point here gets in the red, can't fly the airplane. Because this gear, when it takes off, it has to actually tilt yeah. so many degrees in order for it to fit up into the wheel well. And if this is in the right place, the gear won't go in the right position. So both the, this A300 and that 75 over there, the, the gear tilts with them? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
just one of the flaps of the hydraulics and one of these Airbuses because they're older airplanes. Yeah. They leak down a little bit. So when they sit for a long time, the flight controls tend to sag a little bit. Yeah. So okay. you power on hydraulics, they all come back to the position where they're supposed to be. That's cool. Yeah. They come with the tail with the nose wheel fits. Yeah, so this is definitely a lot longer. You know what it's for? No. That's if you hit the ground. Oh, it's a tail strike. Yep, tail Bad. strike. If you over rotate. Yeah. And if I come out here and I see that red paint's gone, that means you as a pilot did something bad. If you over rotate the airplane, there's all kinds of inspections you have to do. So obviously it hasn't been used yeah, yet. Yeah, it might be dirty, but it's not been here. Yeah, so that's good. You do not want to over rotate it. Does the 75 have that thing too? It's got something similar, yeah. Alright. This thing is huge. What? It's actually a, what is that? Don't post that on your thing. Okay. This one has a lot more blades, it looks like. Yeah, a lot more blades. Very big. And was it me, or did that engine have a smaller uh, the, white the thing? There? Yeah. Yeah, that one over there, a smaller one, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, it's because it's a much bigger engine. Yeah. A little bit different style. It doesn't have the very point on it with the rubber on it. Yeah. It's a, little, a little bit different design. Let me like that engine over there. Oh, you just mean that was airplane? Yeah, yeah that because that one, that one has like the swirl on it, and that one just has like a line, yeah, if I can remember right. Yeah, Yeah, that one has the line. Okay, so we're back in here. It's like you have to duck in here. This is a nice picture. Alright guys, there's the whole E300. This is it. Uh, I did not video this, but after... Uh, I, I mean, right before this outro, uh, I explored a little bit more of the planes, walk arounds of the... A300, I think I already got that on video, but I did a lot more in-depth things. So that's it. So thank you guys for joining me on this video, and until next time, explore from above, and I'll see you guys next time in my streams and videos, and hopefully in trip reports in this 7.5. Take care.